dearly beloved my loving greetings to you in the name of jesus lord jesus has a special blessing in store for you do you know what is it we see in isaiah chapter 60 and verse 3 isaiah chapter 60 verse 3 says the gentiles shall come to your light and kings to the brightness of your rising and in the first verse we see arise shine for your light has come so god is the light he is shining bright and when the light of jesus comes into us we are shining because of his light we are shining brightly and that's the perfect will of god for us therefore if we want the light in us we have to meet god very often and meet him for a long time as moses was on the mountain top and because he was looking at god day and night for 45 days and hearing him alone for so long his face was radiant it was shining so bright that others couldn't see him today it's not like that but there will be brightness in your face such as happiness and joy a light a radiance when others see you they would recognize you as someone who is always happy and rejoicing and would say that you're not angry sad or restless and this nature will attract others god says in this verse shall come to your light when your face radiates the light of happiness the light of peace the light of joy then it says gentiles shall come to you and also the kings come to you the meaning of gentiles is to denote various kinds of people and kings denote those who are in authority there will be higher officials in the places you live where you work etc it says that various kinds of people and those who are in authority would come to you because there's the light on your face and your life is bright there's happiness and joy in you as you are always with a smile on your face are you like this where you work are you like this where you study are you like this where you do business or are you always angry irritated and restless just examine yourself not for that but your life should be radiant your life should reflect the light of god so that you would be always peaceful like jesus soft spoken charming and happy to talk to everyone peacefully and happily this is the light you should reflect the light of jesus wherever you are then people would sense that they feel comforted talking to you because you are testified as someone who talks to them lovingly gladly always speaks with a smiling face always speaks words that boost their confidence etc in your workplace at your study place and they'd like to visit you wherever you are so people will come looking for you says god have you been like that once i had been to chennai to meet a teacher in her school where she was working then she was redeemed and had been an anointed one when i went there during the lunch break she was not there in the staff room but the other teachers told me that she would be praying in the chapel when i went there i saw she was surrounded by many students parents of some students even non christians were there and i had a chance to talk to her after she finished talking with all of them when i inquired with her she said that those children would be waiting for the break time and come to me for prayers i used to talk with each one of them lovingly pray for them and send them back she also said that some non christian students would even bring their parents to talk with her do you see as her life was a radiant light people started coming looking for her if you shine for the lord there's no reason for you to go out but souls would come looking for you so tell me are you living such a life if not you have to submit yourselves to live a life like that saying god i submit myself i should shine your light to others different kind of people should come to your light and all those who are in authority should come to you to know you shall we pray dear father we must shine for you father i submit myself and pray to you so that as we reflect your light many kinds of people and those who are in power would come to you and be blessed abundantly in the name of jesus christ we pray this prayer amen amen